Welcome to Accelerate, a DLA Piper hosted series focused on AI. During the series, we will help demystify the complexities of AI regulation, risk, and how to harness the opportunity that AI brings to businesses across the globe. Welcome, I'm Lindsay Penman, a technology partner and an AI lawyer at DLA Piper. I'm here today to talk about AI governance and why it's so important that that's at the heart of your compliance programme. We've been working really closely with clients as they look to understand the risks that AI poses whilst also being able to deploy it in a way that truly fosters innovation and embraces the change and acceleration that that can bring to organisations. We're often asked, so do I approach it top down or bottom up? Well, we're asking clients to meet us in the middle and tackle it in both ways. It's very difficult to review an AI policy when we don't understand what the board and the exec want to set the risk appetite as. Once we know that, we can deploy it in a way that makes sense for the business based on specific use cases. We're looking at AI through five pillars of risk and how those risks transpire at the different points of the AI lifecycle. It's really important to remember that cyber risks, for example, will transpire differently when you're talking about data input versus the computational processing. We're also helping to guide clients to understand what's net new versus what's nuanced for AI. There'll be so many controls that we already have and we've worked with people through GDPR compliance programs, operation resilience compliance programs, and often it's a case of breaking down the buzzwords and understanding what has to be uplifted. It's not a case of saying you can never use personal data to train an AI model. That's gonna really inhibit your growth and innovation. We want to make sure that we work with you to address this in a pragmatic way and we have practical solutions to do so. It's more, do you understand how data will be used and have you looked at your existing frameworks? One of the further questions we're often asked is, who has responsibility for this? And it is a broad brush approach. We need the experts from different areas of the business to be feeding in through this. And that's why our five pillar governance framework will help you manage that because it looks at employment, it looks at litigation, it looks at technology, it looks at data protection, and it brings it together in a way that will talk to your stakeholders. We want to make sure you can promote the success of the business. And as mentioned, governance underpins that. We've learned from GDPR it's so much easier to embed these principles at the outset rather than try and unpick it if things go wrong. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for listening to this episode of Accelerate by DLA Piper. For more on AI, check out our YouTube channel for more videos like this and click subscribe to stay informed. You can also take a look at our AI focus page, dlapiper.com, for further insight and thought leadership and get in touch direct to discuss how we can support you in navigating the complexities of AI.